Hello everyone, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we are having another very very interesting question from Radical Mathematics. We are going to calculate cube root. So let's get started by considering expression equal to e first. Now we can take cubing both sides. So from RHS we can cancel cube root with cube. So we can write e cube equal to square root 5 plus 1 over square root of 260 we can factor 52 times 5 minus square root 125 we can write 25 times 5 then plus root 52 minus root 25 now we know that a square root of a times b equal to square root a times a square root b. So e cube will become square root 5 plus 1 over square root 52 times a square root 5 minus a square root 25 times a square root 5 plus square root 52 minus square root 25. Now we can write e cube will be equal to square root 5 plus 1 over square root 52 times square root 5. Then we can write square root 52 term. Then we'll write square root 25 times square root 5 minus square root 25. Now here I will take square root 52 common and from these two terms we can take minus square root 25 common. So we can write e cube equal to square root 5 plus 1 over square root 52 in the bracket square root 5 plus 1 then we have square root of 25 with minus sign common out in the bracket root 5 plus 1. Now we can write e cube equal to square root 5 plus 1 over square root 52 minus square root 25 times square root 5 plus 1. Now we can cancel root 5 plus 1 from numerator denominator. So we can write e cube equal to 1 over square root 52 minus square root 25. Now we will rationalize our denominator. So we need to multiply numerator and denominator with denominators conjugate which is square root 52 plus square root 25. In the numerator also we will multiply with the same bracket. Now in the denominator we can see it is one specific form a minus b times a plus b which we can write a square minus b square. So I can write e cube will be equal to square root 52 plus square root 25 over square root 52 whole square minus square root 25 whole square. Now square root and square will be over in the denominator. So denominator will become 52 minus 25. So I can write root 52 plus root 25 over 52 minus 25. This is equal to expression e cube. 
और वी कैन राइट स्क्वायर रूट फिफ्टी टू प्लस स्क्वायर रूट ट्वेंटी फाइव ओवर ट्वेंटी सेवन Now we can write 52 as 13 times 4 plus square root 5 square as 25 over 27. So our RHS will become 2 square root 13. This square root square will be over plus 5 over 27. We can write 3 cube. This is equal to e cube. Now we will consider cube root both sides. Cube root, cube root. So cube root and cube will be over from LHS. I can write e will be equal to RHS. We can write cube root of two root thirteen plus five. Over cube root of three cube, so cube root and cube will be cancelled out. We can write equal to cube root of two root thirteen plus five over three. This is our expression E. Let us write here cube root of Two root thirteen plus five over three. Now I will consider numerator as x and denominator is three. So our answer will become x over three, where x is cube root of two root thirteen plus five now i will consider cubing both sides so i can write x cube equal to 2 square root 13 plus 5 i will use simon's favorite factoring trick so let's multiply both sides by 8 so 8x cube equal to 8 times 2 root 13 plus 5 It can be written as two cube, x cube equal to eight times two is sixteen root thirteen. Eight times five is forty. Now we know that a power c times b power c. Any time we can write a b whole power c. So LHS will become two x whole cube, and RHS is sixteen root thirteen. Plus forty. Once we will calculate x, we will put here for expression e. So I can write sixteen root thirteen plus forty. This is our two x whole cube. Now I will split sixteen as thirteen plus three. So thirteen root thirteen. Plus three root thirteen, and forty we can split thirty nine plus one, or we can write thirteen root thirteen plus one plus thirty nine plus three root thirteen. So thirteen root thirteen can be written as root thirteen whole cube. One can be written as one whole cube. Thirty-nine is three times root thirteen whole square times one, and three root thirteen is three times root thirteen times one square. If I will consider root thirteen as a, and this one as b, then this is a cube plus b cube plus 3a square b plus 3a b square equal to a plus b whole cube. So I can write 2x whole cube will become root 13 plus 1 whole cube. 
Once I will consider cube root both sides for real x, I will get 2x equal to root 13 plus 1 or x will come out root 13 plus 1 over 2. Now our expression E was x over 3. So I will write x over 3. Let's put the value of x. So I will write root 13 plus 1 over 3 times 2. So our final answer becomes E equal to root 13 plus 1 over 6. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself. Bye bye.